Hey, what's up guys? Mike Log here. So in this video, I want to talk about keeping things simple in your website designs. Okay, and why sometimes simple can be better, um, especially if you're getting started. All right, um, here I am at a Google search result page. I just did a search for uh, on the word minimalist websites. You'll get a list like this, uh, and I'm going to come over here and click on where it says 100 plus clean, simple, minimalist website designs. All right, now check this out. You get a, a list, obviously you've seen articles or blogs like this where you see all these cool pages. And it just strikes me amazing how simple and clean these websites are. But um, a lot of times when people ask me to review their website, they, um, they go far and beyond uh, the simplicity of sites like this and try to to do things with graphics that um, that sometimes hurt their website okay so um, this happens all the time when people ask me to review their website and I'm not going to show their websites in this video because I don't want to put anybody on blast but um, you know and also I never talk bad about any website that I get that were when someone sends me a website to review because everyone's trying and everyone's learning and the fact that they're asking questions is is, is totally you know you know good enough and and I love to to support people and help them along and, and move them in the right direction but uh, and that's why I wanted to create a video like this is look at a site like this where it says Finch okay if you look at this website here look how simple this website is it's amazingly simple it's just white space you have this big logo you have some text here I am a designer you know and a writer who happens to have a really sweet big and <laughs> big you know logo so it's amazing how simple this site is and the amazing thing is that this particular site made the top you know a top 100 list or a list on a website for for um, for amazing looking websites you know and the fact that this site is so simple there's really not a lot to it and I don't know why anyone could not design a similar site that that keeps this site really simple and you know eventually make a list like this you know it's just is it's very simple it's spaced out well but um, the point is here is that this site is really simple you know especially for a uh, a portfolio site. Another site I found on the list here is this one here, Post Machina or whatever. Um, not sure how you pronounce that, but um, if you look at this website again, it's simple. There's just text. You know, this is probably an image here, or you know, you can have web web fonts. Um, there's nothing but text on the home page and a logo. You know, clicking on the profile page, you have a nice little image here. And you have a few few paragraph text, and it's amazing. You look over here on identities. You have text aligned to the left and photos on the right. It's amazing that not enough people look at this, look at the simplicity of these type of sites, and um, not sort of uh, copy or or take inspiration from this and start off really simple, because. I think when you start off simple like this, what it does, it allows, it forces you to focus on the message, you know, on the important things on the website, um, and not really focus on the background images or the gradients or um, you know any other thing that might distract you from your main focus, which is the content. You know, what is the website here to do? Is the website here to to present a message to someone and tell someone that you're a designer and a writer? you know um, is it is it uh, you know is is it here so that you can you can list out your services and and uh, things that um, that you produced you know your your portfolio something like that something very simple okay um, again here's the services page for this site it's just simply you have links a simple logo simple clean logo using Helvetica font and a paragraph and this particular site makes someone's top 10 list or top 100 list you know as, as far as beautiful websites 
and so it just amazes me how simple these websites are you can go through the list here spend you know an hour looking through the list you know start off here start off with sites that are this simple and what it's gonna do is gonna allow you to it's gonna force you to focus on the message and um, you know you go from there because I always think when the site is this simple and uh, this clean you can always add to it okay you can't be hurt from this because it's you know it's something that's simple and it gets the point across it's um, it's just uh, self-explanatory right it's really simple but um, if you wanted to go further from this point you can always add some some light texture to the background and then slowly add some gradients you know in different sections but and then you can always improve and add a little bit more detail to the page okay so start simple keep things simple and um, you know don't try to overdo it especially when you're starting out uh, you, you know a lot of people tend to try to try to be you know try to create fancy graphics and things like that but most of the time that ends up hurting you so um, you know I say you know experiment with keeping things simple and um, see how far that gets you you know see if that doesn't get you on a top 10 list like this you know for the sake of just being uh, uh, simple and clean <laughs> alrighty um, but in most cases yeah this might work for portfolio sites but I think um, a lot of times there's other examples which uh, I'm not gonna probably run into in this video but um, there's other examples of uh, simple clean um, you know um, sites that that offer uh, products and things like that so alrighty so thanks for watching I just wanted to point point out point this out and uh, just talk about the importance of keeping things sim simple and uh, and minimal alright thanks for watching and uh, catch me in the next video bye bye